Thank you. Um, other recognition? Yes, we yeah. do. We have <laughs> another big recognition, right, Andrew? I think at this time. Yes, we do. <laughs> um, very fortunate. Um, once again, as, as you've heard me speak about um, time in and time out, and as, as um, Mr. Adam just, just mentioned it as well, we're very fortunate to have the, the um, education foundation that we do. Um, for this fall cycle this year, they, they are providing the district with over $46,000. Wow. So without any further ado, I'd like to call up uh, Kelly Beidel and Ivy Cohen to uh, present those, uh, the grants. Okay, great, thank you. So this is always a fun thing for us to do when we get to come out yes, and um, tell you a little bit about the grants that we've just awarded for the fall funding cycle. Before Ivy and I let you know what the grants were funded, um, just a couple people to thank. Obviously, LTF can't do it without the great partners in the administration, the faculty, the staff, everybody that sort of is part of, of, of the whole foundation, um, the financial support of our community members, we can't do it without you, and of course, all the volunteer members of our board who work tirelessly to help the district in any way we can. And so, as Andrew said, we've awarded a little over $46,000. And so, Ivy, do you want to start reading off some of the grants sure. that were funded? Sure. Um, so if, if you received a grant, when we call your name, if you want to come on up, and then I think we'll probably try to do a photo op down in the well, if that's okay? Absolutely. Okay, so the first grant we gave um, is district-wide for kindergarten and first grade. It's called Little Dragon's Digestive System. <laughs> it's a program designed to teach students what humans and animals need to survive by taking a journey through the digestive system, and that grant went to Kristen Burke. <laughs> The next grant we awarded goes to Lawrenceville Elementary School. It's called Lester's Little Makerspace. It's the creation of a makerspace in the school library equipped with tools to let students advance their thinking in academic areas and beyond. And that grant went to Melissa Lockett. Next was at Slackwood Elementary School. It's a grant um, to increase literacy and the interest of nonfiction books with an author visit by Jerry Pallotta. And that went to their PTO, uh, PTO Vanessa Jerez. At the Lawrence Intermediate School, there were three grants. The first one was promoting academic excellence in students who require kinesthetic stimulation. And that's for standing desks and ball chairs for the special education program at the school. And that went to Cindy Westhead. The next grant at LIS was students making cultural connections through music, and that's for assemblies and workshops to expose students to a variety of musical genres, and that was to Amy Amiot. <laughs> and then the last LIS grant was the Science Sportacular, and that's a Liberty Science Center program that will teach students about Newton's laws, including force, mass, motion, and matter. And that also went to Kristen Burke. <laughs> And the remainder of the grants are going to programs at Lawrence High School. So the first one are lapel microphones for LHS students. So it's purchase of new wireless microphones for LHS for use during assemblies, performances, presentations, and more. And that goes to Damien Barrexa. Next is a program called Lee Rubin's Leadership Program. It's an opportunity for promising student leaders to learn how to become more effective leaders and upstanders, and that went to Allison Fisher. Um, the next grant is LHS Black History Celebrations. It's programs to celebrate multiculturalism and diversity by teaching students about black history, and that went to Cliff Williams. And the last three grants are um, Monster Uprights and Ropes, the LHS weight room upgrades. And this is equipment to outfit and upgrade the LHS weight room for use by all students and athletes. And that also went to Allison Fisher. And then we have two grants, um, both of which went to Faye Lopez. We have the Model Congress and the Model UN grants for support and attendance, um, for support of attendance and participation in both the Model New Jersey Congress and the um, Model UN. So that's perfect. So congratulations to all of our grant awardees for the fall cycle, and thank you all for your great ideas, and we look forward to your ones for the spring. Okay? And I think we have to do a photo op now. Photo op. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.